here and today I found a hair tutorial for you guys. I did a flexi rod set and this is my first flexi rod set and I absolutely love it. I was kind of nervous to see how it would turn out because I like you know kind of winged it. Uh, I watched a few tutorials and I kind of just went with what worked with my hair and let me tell y'all this was a process because I attempted to do this hair tutorial last night but I didn't have enough flexi rods. I ran out of flexi rods. And it wasn't like I can go out and like get some last night because I was filming this video last night at like 12 o'clock. So I couldn't run out to the beauty supply store that I like to go to because they were closed. So I had to take the whole back part of my hair down, put my hair up in a bun, and then re-come back, re-come back. And then I came back today and redid the whole thing for you guys today. I hope that made sense. But... It was all worth it in the end because I absolutely love my hair. I did sit under the dryer, as you guys will see. Um, I didn't want to air dry my hair because there's no way I was going to sleep like that. Um, I can't sleep with those things in my head. I probably wouldn't have been able to sleep. Like, I'm not one of those people who sleep like this. Like, I have to, like, um, when I sleep, I sleep. So, that's why I sat under the dryer. Um, and I did sit under the dryer for about two hours. <sighs> it just brought me back to when I was little when I used to get my hair done and sit on the dryer. I absolutely hate it, but it was all worth it in the end. And hopefully this lasts me for about a week. I am going to just put my hair in a pineapple to preserve this style. That's usually what I do with my protective styles anyway. And I just think this hair is just like so perfect if you're going to like a summer wedding. If you don't want to wear like a braid out twist out or your natural curls, you can just do something like this. If you don't want to wear your hair straight. I just, ugh, I just love it. The only thing I don't like about it is how tight the curls are. Because look how far my hair stretches out. That's a lot. But other than that, I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Because I really worked hard on it. Yeah, it was a process. So I'm going to start rambling now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Okay guys, so first I'm going to start with my hair parted into four sections and then I already have my hair parted on the side that I wanted. Now I'm taking this Curl Scrimp Brulee Whipped Curl Cream for added moisture and I'm just going to apply about a like a nickel size amount to each individual section of my hair. Now I'm going to take this Goddess Curls Botanical Gel and I'm just going to add this to each subsection of my hair for definition and hold. Now I'm just going to take my dimming brush and smooth out the subsection. I'm going to be using these gray flexi rods for the back of my hair just because they're like a little bit bigger than the ones I'm going to use in the front. So I'm just going to start the process of curling. I'm just going to make sure that my ends are nice and smooth to prevent frizz and then just spiral the flexi rod all the way up. I'm just going to bend the other side the opposite way of the way I curled if that makes sense. Uh, again, I'm just going to make sure those ends are nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to spiral my hair all the way up. And then fold the other end of the flexi rod the opposite way. Again, I'm going to subsection. Add some of that gel. Make sure the hair is nice and saturated so we won't have any frizz. Now 
Now notice I'm gonna start the curl at the bottom of each flexi rod, just so you can have actual space to spiral the curl upward. And I'm taking about half an inch sections for each individual flexi rod. And also note that I am pulling the hair as I spiral upward just to make sure that the curl is nice and smooth on the flexi rod. Now I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea by now so I'm just going to stop talking for now anyway and just let you guys continue to watch. Okay, now I've completed the back of my hair and now we're going to move on to the front. Now for the front, I'm going to be using these orange flexi rods, which are a little bit smaller than the gray ones, just because I want my curls to be a little bit smaller in the front. And I'm just going to curl the ones in the front, well most of them away from my face. Now I'm going to sit under this hot dryer for about two hours. Okay, now the takedown. I've already taken down the back for the sake of time. And I'm just going to unravel the curls in the opposite way that I curled them. So basically just taking them out the opposite way that I curled them. So kind of like twist them around the curl as they unravel out. <laughs> Now I'm going to be taking this Curls Champagne and Caviar Curl Elixir to prevent frizz and add shine. Now as I'm taking down my hair, I am separating each individual spiral into like three or four sections. So kind of like twisting each little piece that I take out in the same direction of the curl just to keep the curl. And also remember that the more you separate each curl, the bigger your hair will be.
Now I'm going to be taking this Curls Blueberry Control Paste just to smooth down my edges or smooth down any flyaways. And this stuff smells absolutely amazing. It smells so good. Now I'm just going to quickly check out my roots and that is it. I hope y'all enjoyed this look. See y'all next time.